Soccer first started in the mid-19th century in England, and while the sport hasn't changed much since then, its popularity has certainly grown. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchWalter.com, and today we're learning more about the history of this sport. It started as an organized sport in England in the middle of the 19th century, so it's been around for a while. It spread around the world, I guess, in the first wave of what would be called multinationalism. That is, at the beginning of the 20th century, as England began to trade with countries all over the world, and there was such a thing as the British Empire. Wherever uh, British workers went, they seemed to bring soccer with them. And then as the, the British Empire kind of shrank, the soccer in those countries where it had began took on a life of its own. Countries all over the world began to develop their own soccer. How would you say the sport has evolved over this time? One of the interesting things about soccer, I think, is that the rules are fairly simple. And the rules have largely stayed the same since the very beginning. And that's one of the reasons why I think soccer is popular on and played all over the world. It's a sport that's popular in, in poor countries too. They're some of the strongest countries in, in, in international soccer, countries like Brazil, some of the countries in Africa, where soccer is the poor man's sport because all you need is that ball to kick it around and improve your skills and learn how to play the game. Who would be on your all-time all-star soccer team? George Best. Uh, a player from Northern Ireland who played for Manchester United in England during the 1960s and into the early 1970s. A tragic figure in many ways, probably the most gifted player of his generation. A man with great ball skills, uh, a great athlete, but also a very smart man, a sort of fleet of foot and swift of mind, but unfortunately an addict, an alcoholic who died you know, well before his time. Diego Maradona one of the great eccentrics who played for Argentina and is indeed the manager of Argentina at this World Cup this year, a scorer of one of the most famous goals, the Hand of God goal, in which he actually guided the ball into the net with his hand, and he later admitted that. It's known as the Hand of God goal. Uh, so he was a, a truly great player, but a very eccentric player. Pele, of course, probably the most famous in the world, uh, the legendary Brazil player, who was a, a star when he was 16, 17 years old and played well into his 30s. Probably the uh, internationally, he's probably considered the top player of, of all time. But then you have contemporary figures like Beckham, who's not ever been a great goal scorer, but a tremendously gifted in his control of the ball. Everybody's familiar with the phrase, bend it like Beckham. It uses the metaphor of um, David Beckham's famous ability to kick the ball and send it in a bending motion. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Rebecca. Got a goal!